If dating for love isn't working out for you, date for money. I'm being dead serious. My dating approach has been unbelievably pure for my entire life. Never cared about the financial status of the guy, have dated people with less money than me, have always gone 50-50 in relationships, has never been financially taken care of by a guy. I just wanted to fall in love and have a genuine partnership and connection with someone. And Valid. Guess where that's gotten me? Used. Taken advantage of. Single. My ex, who I thought I was in love with at the time, we split everything 50-50, including rent. We lived together. That He was never going to marry me. He was never going to settle down with me. The guy who I've had genuine feelings for has just hurt me. You are so close. This doesn't mean you need to go to the polar opposite and just start using other men for money. But you felt like you were being used in your relationships, right? So you're gonna turn around and do the same thing to these other men. Hence, punishing all these other men for the actions of your exes. And that's not right. Here's the thing is we all know that there are people out there who will use you. It doesn't matter the gender. That's why you need to have boundaries on how much you're willing to give. And if your underlying expectation was to get marriage out of the, the relationship, you need to communicate that up front. You need to have your limits. Some men don't want to get married these days and it's valid, but you also need to protect yourself if for you that's a, a must have. I have been in these same situations myself and once I was like, okay, this is what I'm willing to put up with, this is what I'm not. And I was very fair with it and I was willing to set boundaries but not be too unreasonable with them. My dating options massively improved and now I'm with the man of my dreams. And yeah, he doesn't make six figures. Yeah, he doesn't buy me a fancy stuff every day, but he is willing to share everything that he has with me. We have a genuine loving connection. If you only use people for money or the resources they can give you, you're not gonna have deep loving relationships. You're gonna have very shallow relationships. And I know some women are like, well, I have my girlfriends, I don't care. Well, throughout your life, your girlfriends will be close to you and far away from you. Because ultimately, we all prioritize our romantic relationships over our friends. That's just how it works. And yes, having girlfriends is absolutely wonderful. But you're going to want someone by your side that's your partner, where you will be first most of the time. And that's going to be in your romantic relationship. So you want that to be a deep connection.